Yeah, promoting black clothing lines. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I, I asked um, Stray and the panel a provocative question for you today. Yes, sir. No. And I got a couple for myself. So let, let me set the stage. First of all, I, I, I am a fan of yours um, because you, you pointed out there's something wrong going on in the community. And that I like that you stand for that no matter what people say. Yes, now, sir. our conversation was, Maybe sometimes you may come at it a more of a harsher way than some of us would choose to come. And maybe that would, is what makes people push against your coming with it. Because you come in with knowledge. At least you come in with, I mean, I like that you say. If I come, with, that, I, I, I come with the ugly truth. Yeah, with the ugly truth. The ugly now, truth. Me, and, and you ain't going to try to t tone it down or nothing. You will give it to them straight. No chase. no chase. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, because the reality in the, in the conditions of black people that we exist in have never been toned down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, 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 the knowledge that I have, uh, the the qualitative experience and the quantitative knowledge that I have makes me an expert <clears throat> working with black children in, in 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 street guys, right? Okay. So, when you see when you listen to the type of lyrics that our children listen to, 99.9% mm -hmm. .9 of our children from ages 10 and up is walking around with earbuds or headphones on, right? So there's a, a, there's a biblical scripture that says faith comes by hearing. Hearing what? Hearing whatever it is you're listening to. So if 99.9% .9 of our children are walking around 10 to 12 hours a day, even when they're in school, they have an earbud in, listening to whatever they're listening to, rap music, not healthy rap music, not empowering rap music, but destructive and detrimental rap lyrics, right? So mm -hmm. when you say something to your kid in a soft, loving voice, you have to say it more than once because they're not listening to you. When you get ready to chasten your child, you wow. don't speak soft and lovely. You say, if you don't sit your MFA down somewhere, I've heard parents even say, if you don't go sit your ugly A down somewhere. Right, so right. Mad. So when I first started listening to rap music, there was this great gangster rapper who sold drugs. <clears throat> His name was Easy E, Eric Wright. One of his most prolific songs is called We Want Easy. And in this song, there's a segment where they get to ask Easy some questions. And they say, Easy, why you wear your pants like that? Easy say, I wear my pants like this because it's easy access, baby. They pass the microphone. Easy, why you cuss like that? Now, at this time, this is the first time cussing in this type of lyrics and content have ever been put in genre of music. They start mm -hmm. calling it gangster rap. And he right. said, I cuss like this to get my point across. And I grew up with that, with that sentiment in my mind when I heard my parents cuss, when I heard my grandparents cuss. I'm mm -hmm. from the South. And when grown folks come in and they say something once nicely and you don't hear them, it's ugly the second time when they say it. Wow. You know, that's so funny. I, I just wrote a book. Oh, my God. Wait till you hear the name of it, Charles, Charleston White. I just wrote a book called Lil Bobby White. <laughs> I call it Bobby White, but the kids in it are black. But the story is about a kid who always wins because he always chooses to do the right thing. And what I've been saying about this book is we're not teaching a lesson to our kids anymore to be good for goodness sake to be good because that's the right, right actions bring about right results. We don't teach that. Pretty much what you're saying is, is some is similar to what I'm saying. Our kids are raised by the, by the device. We give them a device and sit them in a corner. So whatever information comes through that is what they're being taught. Not through mom and dad making that, making that basic things, look both directions when you go, always say yes, <laughs> always say no, say yes sir, no sir, please. All those different things, we're not getting, the kids aren't getting that at all. That's why they walk up. Uh -huh. I never learned how to, I never learned, I never learned drug use from my home. I learned how to start drinking alcohol from listening to rap music. Old English 800, Coke 45, 
St. Ives. I, I didn't learn that in my home. I didn't know about Hennessy and Alizé till Tupac started rapping about Thug Passion and introducing these drinks to us. I didn't know about Ecstasy. I didn't know about Molly's. I didn't know about Xanax. I didn't know about wow. I, I, I didn't know about Serb. I didn't know about any of these drugs until I started listening to rap music. I didn't even know you could sleep with two women until they start bringing up the word menage a trois in rap music. I didn't know that was, <laughs> I didn't even know that was an element of life. I didn't even know you could sleep with two women at one time till I start listening to this music. I didn't know you can make two sisters kiss each other. I didn't know you can make two twin sisters kiss each other until the rapper starts saying I made two biological sisters kiss each other. I didn't know homosexuality was you can embrace homosexuality until they start promoting girl on girl homosexuality. See, we didn't like the boy on boy, but when they start promoting the girl on girl, we embrace that. I mean, I agree with you. I agree with a lot of the things that you're saying, but I think I'm going to say this and be super transparent. I think sometimes um, the way that you come off and it's like because of social media, the way that sometimes we we are perceiving you, it's like you thriving off bullshit. No, no kiss. shade. That's I mean, um, some because, of the things because, that... Because this is what I know. Everybody on social media bullshit. I ain't never seen nobody post an eviction notice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody post their argument when them and they woman arguing with each other. Everybody is pretending on social media. So I came online to be a villain. I came up with a delivery that's so cold, not only have it got me rich, it's got me famous. So when mm -hmm. I come offline, I come to be a, a good dad, an honest man, and a community leader. I come online to show my dick, tell a whole suck my dick, bitch, fuck your mama. I come to be the lyrics that I listen to because I wanted to hold a mirror up to black people and say, this is what we love. Y'all don't love Dr. King's lyrics. Y'all, if we love Louis Farrakhan so much, how do we not replay his lyrics? They don't yeah, but it starts, it, it, I mean, I don't, I don't I mean, listen, to, listen, I agree I, with I, I came online to play a villain. I didn't come online to make friends. I didn't come online and get black people to clap for me. I so what is the legacy? When it's all said and done, when they're all... Wait, wait, wait. Don't talk. Don't what's talk the legacy? What, what's came, the legacy? I came online to have a plan. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. I done bought my mama a new car. I got three houses. I'm about, I don't give a fuck which black person don't like me. Y'all can kiss my ass and y'all play rap music. Suck my dick. I wait, don't give wait, a fuck wait, what black up. people sit back listening <laughs> to hold by up. me. I come to play a villain. And not only have my villain got me rich, it's got me famous, it's got me powerful. I'm on stage and selling out shows. So it's working for me. I don't give a damn if y'all don't like it. Y'all ain't stop listening. I didn't say that. Listen, I didn't so say that. Don't give me no buts about what I'm saying. I come with the bullshit. And the I didn't say no. no I'm not listen. I'm not here to go back and forth with you. I didn't say but because when you say but, but cancels out everything before that. I'm just letting you know this is what comes across to people. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry, bro. I want you on here, but it's a family show. I can't. I can't let you go that far, man. Oh my God. I want to. I want to be able to have this conversation with you, though, man. Can we have it without? Take me down, then, boss. Okay. All right. So, so Carl, will we be able to have the same conversation without the profanity? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. He's still talking. I'm trying to get you to have a conversation with me so we can understand what you're saying. Okay. So Carlton, Ooh. Carlton, we haven't heard any of those words. Man, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Nigga, I'm gone. Nigga, I'm an ignorant motherfucker. Nigga, I won't talk to you, old ass. Nigga, I'm gone. My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> All right, so to the Calia clan and our viewers, <laughs> the ones that are left, 
Uh, I apologize for the tirade and the rant. I was really hoping that he would be able to communicate what he's saying without it being so vulgar, you know? And here's the thing, because Katie, I mean, uh, Straya, you said it best. He, he's not going to, he comes for the drama, for the, for the noise, for the battle, <clears throat> you know? I'm on the other side trying to say, yo, 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 I know it's the stuff he's saying is good stuff, but he's saying it in a, a derogatory way, in a terrible way. So you can't get close enough to hear the message because he's swinging all these knives and shit at you as you're coming towards him. So I was trying to see if he could just calm down just enough to be able to, you know, say what your point is. But if it's like MF and all that to make a point, there is no point. Uh, hey, come on, my wife. What you got? I, I think his point comes across. His point is he, he said it. He comes to bring the nonsense because that's what most of America likes to listen to. But you have to choose what you like to listen to. And this platform is just not for that. Yeah. Well, we found that out the hard way. <laughs> Because you have a, your platform is about respect. Honor. Right, and I've had him on three times. Yeah, and, and, he's, and he's never had the, the the vulgar meltdown that he just had. You well, know? I, I think it was the question that I asked. I think the question that I asked. I mean, I think what I said what I said triggered him. I didn't. That wasn't that wasn't the approach that I well, wanted. But you he that just showed that he thrives off bullshit. He just showed the world that he thrives off bullshit. I didn't discredit nothing that he said.